And here we are, everybody. Welcome back to the stream. We're gonna do some explorers now. We're all set up. Now then, I got a little bit of stuff on me. I guess I need the white gummy for the friendship thing. I guess we'll hop in here for a moment. I got a yellow gummy I may as well use up. What was the last thing I was doing in the story? I think I was going to um, find Drowsy, right? Out of the yellow gummy. That's right. Shake it this way. Shake it that way. And stir it all around. And it's done. My Q went up. Special offense. All right, perfect. And I guess I have a couple things on me I can recycle that I don't care too much about. So let's just do one of those. All right. Item is gold ticket for any eight items. Why not? Okay, storage. Let me go in my treasure bag, though. I don't want to give away with those. Do that. Silence orb is pretty garbage. All mock orb. You know what? I'll just give them these because I kind of don't care. White gummies there. All right, now let's go to storage. I got all these stones for later. May as well clear out some of my inventory slots now in the storage. Even though I got this space expanded, it helps to get it cleared out, right? Anyway, how's the audio sound, chat? Good? I'll just pick red. Is it a win? So it is a win or not? Oh. Look at me. Sounds good? Okay. That's so great, why not take your prize? All hit- all hit orb. That's garbage! That's the crap I would trade in. Oh well. Did I talk to you already? I have to go into the dungeon to meet Nidoran, but I'm too scared to go by myself. You know, team woman, could you please escort me? Yeah, sure, why not? Happy outlook. Thank you so much, I'll try my best. Good for you. Now I want to go put the white gummy I got in storage. And I should probably store the money I got, too. Let's do that. We're going to the mountain to find Drowsy to wake up Azuril. So we'll do that now. Mobile Scarf's a pretty nice prize, yeah. We're saving the white gummies here for when we're doing... When we need a teddy. Okay, this should be good for now. And Chansey, Meowth, Torterra... And the stupid orb that I don't want. Let's do that. Mobile Scarf is a good prize. Alright. It's a long game, chat. It goes on and on, but it's fun. Hang on now. Team. 487. Alright, let's take a quick look now. What was, it? what was the name of the island? Oh no, it's a mountain. Alright, here we go then. Okay. I've been feeling better today, chat. Um, I mentioned having, like, uh, some issues with new glasses, but, uh, hang on a second. This must be Mount Travail. We need Drowsy to help us wake Azuril up. There's no time to spare finding Drowsy. Let's do our very best. Yes, for those of you, those of you just joining us, the issue, um, is apparently the new glasses I have were actually just not what I needed at all. I thought I was just adjusting. Hang on, let me get this. Drop eye seed. Oh, great. He's gonna be like this. Cut up you. Perfect. And I feel like it got kind of loud here. Let me adjust it. Beautiful. Yeah, I need to go in for another eye test because the glasses I got clearly are not good for me at all. And it was just giving me a headache. Like, I couldn't, like, see stuff closer to me. Kangaskhan's here, too. Like, the ones I got, I could see better for stuff farther away, but stuff up close, like a computer monitor or even, like, a book, it don't look right. And, yeah, I thought I was just adjusting, but no, I'm pretty sure they just messed up. I'm a little little annoyed about it, because I, I already... I gotta go back in for it all, but... Ugh, at least I know what the issue is. Hang on. I've just been wearing my old glasses again. Like, as soon as I switched back to them, I felt so much better. There we are. Okay. 
That can happen sometimes, yeah. And I did kind of get the impression when I was there. Hang on, let's take these guys out. I was kind of getting the impression that the guy was kind of just like rushing, like rushing the job there. Kind of just assumed that he, hey, he probably knew what he was doing, but <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, good thing I kept the old glasses. Usually I get new ones and they're just perfectly fine. Okay, let's go here. Guess we're just going to the top. Excellent. Anyways, let's take a bite out of this guy. Stuff happens. Yes, it does. Oops. Well, that's unfortunate. Why would you walk on that too, you silly, silly bean? Over here, you. Doom Seed. Well, that's exciting. happened to you you got the you went back and got the same results so you just don't wear them well if i'm paying for new glasses they're gonna give me ones that i need i'm not just gonna i'm not just gonna not wear them or, or they're gonna give me a refund that's what's gonna happen i don't know why and i just accept it like that oh yeah i've been recording hang on glasses are expensive okay let's bop you Luckily, I seem too tough for this part in the game. Level 50 is pretty high. Oopsie. Max Elixir. Don't need a Petra Berry. We're all good here. If I get downtime between missions, I wanted to try and get some recruits done. Mainly the, the Lake Trio. Excuse me? Excuse me, excuse me. What? what? You can't just do that. That was some hot garbo right there, is what that was. Hang on, how many revivers I got left? Two... Okay. Well, exciting. How exciting. Oopsie. <sighs> Goodbye, Link moves. They never stay, ever. Hang on, I should probably ignore the Medicham in case stuff... Can Stuff bad happens again. That boost is scary. Marowak went bop. This animation looked weird, though. Uh-oh. I've got bite. This should be fine. I already got shit engine recruited. Because I evolved one last time. Hard box. Not sure what that'll do. Okay. Sleep seed. Well, chat, I'm a streamer, so glasses and stuff come out of my own pocket. <laughs> I don't really have something for that. That's another reason why it's a little bit annoying to have to go through it. Oh, hang on. Let's take you out here. It's a pain in the butt, but... I'm glad I put, I started wearing my old ones again because I was just getting a headache trying to look at stuff. And oh, come on. Die already. Let's get over there. Oh, come on. Take a bite out of this lad. You're not fairy type yet, Mr. Mime. Got it, leveled up. Attack went up by one, special defense. It's a little bit of something, a little bit of that. Excellent. I got a decent amount of recruits done last time, but I want to get some more, even more done. Oops, where are you? Ah. Max Elixir. Oh gosh. Didn't someone throw, uh, yeah, pebbles at me. Perfect. Just what I needed. I got 10 experience points even when I didn't use moves on- even when I did use moves on him, I should say. A lot of elixirs here, jeez. Okay. 
Level 51 is where I get a boost to recruit rate, right? I don't remember how it worked differently in this game. Let's see now. Ah. Take a bite out of this. Good, good. You're not killing me today. I did not mean to move like that. Oh well. Coco we're gonna have to finish it. I don't have any orange berries, it seems. I wonder, can they bug bite um do the doom seed out of my inventory? And then go down a level? That'd be funny. Okay, should be fine. Ember just deletes his ore. Okay, that was bad. All is right. We're just gonna take a look around. Quick attack that lad. Oh, don't you dare. Well, at least I'm getting the boost experience from my partner here. Let me just hunger heal. Good enough. All right, let's go. Oh, so I got a 12.5% boost at level 50. Okay, so I got a decent, um... A better chance of recruiting now. That's good. Luckily, things like the Lake Legendaries are guaranteed, as I've apparently learned last time. Okay. Ooh. We got here. Warp Orb. I got 2,000 money. I'm gonna take that. And that. Anything I can sell them? Take a free gummy and be on my way, good sir. It's one of the Doom Seed out of my inventory. Tyro looks like it has a different sprite now. Hang on. Let's throw a Geo Pebble. That's what I got these for. Beautiful. Oh, now it did five. Or gave five. You get over here. Psychic can hurt. Be careful with it. Uh-oh. No! That's annoying. The stairs were right there, too. Okay, well, at least it looks like they're coming back towards me. All right, good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's take him out here. Wait, what happened? Oh, I used a regular attack? I didn't realize I did. I thought maybe he died of recoil or something. I was confused. Uh-oh. Time to eat one of these elixirs. Ooh, that's good. No Kangaskhan's joining me yet. Be nice. I definitely do not have Mr. Mime either. I wouldn't mind just... If he just tried to join me. Nothing from here, though, even though I got the level up needed for the boost. Warp Seed, Warp Seed. Don't really need those outside of, like, Destiny Tower or something. I'm not sure how long this dungeon is, but we'll get what we need. What? Oh, that's annoying. He's cringing. Okay, I need food. Got a plain seed, that's one. Regular apple, that's two. Hidden power. And with that super stab. Only 127 on them, damn. 
I don't know how it let me walk a... What, what is... What are you doing? Watching carefully. Why isn't it attacking me? That's weird. Sticky elixir. All right, let's go. I can't recruit here on the first visit, is that why? XI seed. Oopsie. Hello, you. Potential recruits? Well, I can't recruit anything right now, so I guess that is the case. Why would they do that? Probably because there's a cutscene at the end of this, and they didn't feel like making it so that ally Pokemon could appear in the cutscene. I'm 100% get- 100% that's the reason. Like, they did, they did stuff like that for the story missions, but I feel like they probably stopped for the post-game. Make out hits from a distance. Take a box, and then we move on. Cuz plot. Fun. <laughs> 241. Hello, Big Bear. How are you today? No teddies in sight. Only Ursus. Oh, that did a lot. That was a bully tactic right there. Another sticky elixir. Well, we made it. Oh! Isn't that drowsy there? <clears throat> Jeez. Look at him looking in the distance. Drowsy! Oh, uh, you two! What did you come here for? I've kept my nose clean. I stayed out of a life of crime. Wait, please listen. We didn't climb here to catch you. But we did come here for you. We need your help, Drowsy. Mm, me? You need my help? Yeah. You remember that little Azuril, right? That Azuril has been sleeping for days and won't wake up. Huh? That Azuril tyke. No one knows why he won't wake up. And we heard maybe you can go into dreams. That's why we search for you. So, drowsy. Trying to adjust the volume here. Well, what do you think? Can you please help us? I... I... I did a rotten thing to that little Azuril way back when. I don't know if doing this would ever make up for it, but... It would help Azuril even a little. I don't know how useful I can be, but... I'd be glad to help if you'll let me. Drowsy! Lead me back to Azuril. Let's not waste time. Okay. It's this way. Let's hurry. Okay. He's having scary dreams. How's it going, Drowsy? Can you do something? Oh, you too. I want you to get stocked up for an exploration. When you're all ready, I'll send you on an exploration of Azuril's dream. What? So that means... You guessed it. It's possible to get into Azuril's dream. Yes. Meryl, we can tackle the mystery of the unending nightmare now. Great! But I want you to be extra careful when you're inside this kid's dream. There's something rotten about this dream. I have a feeling that something has gone bad or gone wrong. Uh, is that right? Well, we'll be careful. One more thing. I want only you two to enter the dream. I'd prefer to go as well, but in all honesty, at my skill level, I think I'd slow you down. I'm sorry I couldn't do more for you, but... No, you're great. Just sending us into the dream is plenty. Thank you. We'll get ready to go. Let's get moving. We'll come back as soon as we get ready. Okay. Aw, oh, Asprey, Coco, you always help us. Thank you so much. How wholesome. Does everyone in town have dialogue for this? Hmm. Oh? It's possible for you to enter dreams? That's excellent news. Of course, the journey is yet to start. That's good he found drowsy. Now it gets tricky. You have to find out why Zuril can't wake up from his nightmare. Y'all can go to the dream now? That's mighty great news. 
What do you suppose exploring a dream will be like? Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine. Hey, that drowsy really did turn his life around. Feel bad for doubting him. Hey, hey. Well, can you go into that kid's dream? Yes, I can. For that, though. Hmm. Let's head up here. <clears throat> Pardon me, I sneeze there. Let me check down by the beach. Maybe we can find some new friends. By friends, I mean dialogue. What's this? There's a bottle here. Huh? Looks like there's something inside. A job letter inside. Rescue Cloister from Crystal Cave. Um, Restrictions with Matang. Why would I do that? I don't even have one. Sorry, your note in a bottle doesn't matter to me. Hope you stay lost forever. Imagine you're lost in a dungeon somewhere. You you find a bottle. You, you scribble down a note. You throw it into the river and hope somebody, somebody finds it to save you. To save you from a horrible death in that cave. Oh, sorry, but only Meetang's allowed to come in here. I, I don't want any other kind of Pokemon to rescue me. Please, uh, yeah, don't do that. Well, sorry, but I don't have one of those. Guess you're gonna die. <laughs> What's that? Going to a dream? What's that about? A little Zuril not waking from a nightmare? Hmm, quite worrisome. Oh, I, like, bit my tongue during that. Well, I'm gonna buy me a gummy and some more apples. Excellent. Uh, let's open the boxes, I guess. Your hard box? Yeah, show me what's inside. Swamp mud. It's pretty gross. Is it a Swampert item, or is it just regular old Swamp Mud? Infern Hair. Okay. Kiki Kwa. And so it's revealed within the box. Marsh card. Alright then. I guess I'll store some stuff. We go to six. There we go. I have a ton of extra elixirs now, don't I? Or some. I don't really need these with me right now. Or the warp seeds. That should do it. Alright. Drowsy has become a changed Pokemon. Good to hear he's reformed. Not that it matters to us since we're a team that focuses on catching outlaws. If Drowsy becomes an outlaw again, we'll be there to catch him. Why'd you bring in a known outlaw like Drowsy? Hear that Drowsy's at the guild. Okay. You're entering the nightmare? Ew! What an awful place it must be. Can't begin to imagine such a horrid place. Who says ew to an, like, going into a nightmare? That's a weird response. I discovered there's something I find more desirable than Apple as gold lost loot. Rumors of incredibly valuable lost loot is buried somewhere. Do you know anything of it? We've been on the hunt for a golden apple, but we've given up. My partner Murkrow has no patience or endurance for searches. What about this? Check the egg. The egg. Is it... Could it? Could it be close to hatching? Could it? Will it? Hmm. Well, not quite yet. Give it a little more time. Welcome to Duskull Bank. Your balance is this. Let me just store the meager amount I got. Okay. Alright then. Let's enter the nightmare, I suppose. Did the partner and rescue team say, ew, it was so scary at one point? I don't remember. It's a weird thing to say, though. I don't remember this part, like, at all. Oh, are you ready to go? Yep, everything's ready. Good, and come over here. 
I'm going to send you into Azuril's dream. Here goes. Whoa. Is it inside the dream? Coco Asprey. Can you hear me? It's me. Yeah, we hear you. Good. It sounds like you're safely inside. As I've said before, there's something very bad about this dream. I don't think I need to remind you, but be careful. Okay, thanks. Let's get going into the dream. So what kind of Pokemon is Azuril dreaming about? The Nightmare. Spoinks. Spoinks? There we go. I definitely cannot recruit here. Is Azuril- if Azuril is having nightmares about Spoinks and Jigglypuff, is it just- it's terrified, isn't it? Wobbuffet. They don't seem to be very strong. Oh, give me a break. Okay. Now the slingers are down here. There's just holes falling down into nothing. All you can expect. Oh my god, stop it. A lot of trap tiles in here. Blissey! Ooh, that gave a lot. That gave a lot. Too bad my moves aren't linked. That could have given even more. Yes, and I'm not going to get a chance to come back in here either, so... Just one of those dungeons where we just push through it, I guess. There's money in this stream, too. Spindas. Four, four, four. Spindas is the death Pokemon confirmed. Oh, dead end. Hello. A lot of trap tiles here, but it should be okay. Play this camp. I don't think this will be too long. No, you can't recruit anyone in here now. Even, even when I checked, it said no Pokemon will join in this dungeon. Which is different from that empty list I got for the last place. Which apparently I couldn't recruit there just because uh, they didn't want to animate anything for the cutscene if I had any Pokemon tag along. Come to think of it, what would happen if I would have taken extra Pokemon with me to Mount Travail anyway? Like, what if I changed up the team... Would it even let me take anyone other than uh, myself and Coco? I never thought about that. You're too slow, Coco. Damn it. Now I got splashed with mud. Imagine if you could jump into nightmares every day looking for money. Isn't that just what a regular job is, though? Max Elixir. Hello, Puff. You're dead. 57. Oh, that hurts. Sorry. You can't get me, Puff. Profitable. Nightmare explorers. You just hop into people's dreams and just steal money from them. Where would the money come from, though? How would it manifest? It would just be, like... Would it be technically be fake money, though? I don't know. Or you could just take something valuable and sell it. Explorers of mind. There's a ROM hack idea right there. Hello, Spinda. How are you today? I'm gonna bite your face. That's what I'm gonna do. More than 444. It's a higher level. Also, uh, I, the real nightmare is, the, is these uh, floor layouts. Look at this. Look at this, chat. This is like some Sky Tower bullcrap right now. Uh-oh. Okay, didn't apply to him because I killed one of the tests. The Nightmare. It sounds so ominous. Like, it's not Azuril's Nightmare, it's THE Nightmare. As if, like, nightmares are just a foreign concept here. 
Imagine if you're playing like a randomizer and you just get like nothing but Giratina for this roll. Oh, okay. Giratina for this dungeon. Hello, Clefairy. How are you? Think you stand a chance, mister? Nothing here. Nothing there. Hang on. It's a seed. Uh-oh. Espeon's just walking around. Everyone shares the same night wor nightmare world, obviously. Of course. Shared nightmare world? That, isn't that just the internet, though? Sounds like it. Mime Jr. dead. Oh, Cleffa! It's a real nightmare now. Let's get rid of it. That did a lot. Kill it. Kill! Good god, Coco. Things you'll do before finishing off an opponent. Hello, Blissey. It's a lot of points. Where, oh, where is the stairs? Oh my god, they're in the top left. It was literally the last thing I checked. <sighs> you piece of crap. Stop that. Your belly's empty. I need food. I forgot to go to Spinda before I, uh, went here. Oh well. Get the gummies another time. Drop by, sleep seed. A simple dungeon. I can't recruit anybody. I don't really need items from here, and I doubt I can even come back, so... Nothing really worthwhile to stop and smell the roses for. It's just a very purple cave. That's a bully tactic right there, cat. A lot of attacks are doing heavy damage to Riolu in post-game, aren't they? Does Riolu just naturally have, like, worse defense? But then again, I also have, like, the, the plus items on, so... Oh, Wigglytuff! That's a Nightmare Mon right there. The Guildmaster. A lot of EXP. Wigglytuff cringing. I'm gonna need another Elixir. Let me do that. Is that Clefable? 162. The difference from Wigglytuff is astounding. Hang on, that? That's just that. Oh boy, I do not care for these room layouts at all. It's like I'm running through a whole ass apartment complex is what these ones are. I'm pretty sure if I die, it'll just boot me out of the dungeon. And I gotta start over again. Ow! Begging you to use any move. To you know what? I think it's time I turned off in prison. Because you are you will, like, use anything but. <laughs> and it's kind of getting annoying when I just want you to kill an opponent for me. Quick seed. All right. Looks like I found it fast, at least. Cat. We did it. The Nightmare Deaths. We're gonna go down here. We've come a long way. It appears as if it's just one long path from here. Let's keep going some more. <gasps> What's happening? You, how did you get in here? There's someone here. Who is it? Where are you? Show yourself. I am... Yeah? You, you're... I am Cresselia. Cresselia? 
It's Chrysalia, the one from my dreams. I cannot fathom how you've come here, but I find your visit ever so convenient. I've longed to meet both of you. Chrysalia, so my dreams, they weren't just ordinary dreams after all? What? And what I saw in my dreams, yes. What I told you in your dreams is true. You two are not supposed to exist in this world. What, you two? I suspected this. You and I were having the same dreams, Asprey. I went to the future, and I came back to this world, and it's causing the destruction of this world. I need to fix my seat here. So Cresselia said in my dreams. So it wasn't just me that had those dreams. Yes, have we not established this like five times? And Coco is the same as I am. Coco is another presence that must not exist in this world. Cresselia said that to Coco too. Say, Cresselia, could you explain something? I traveled to the future and came back again. And Asprey was a human who came from the future. You said that we're causing the distortion in the fabric of space in our world. If space itself becomes distorted, why will the world be destroyed? If the distortion in the fabric of space expands, the power of darkness will expand as, all, as well. Eventually, the world will become enveloped within a nightmare. Enveloped within a nightmare? Yes. Do you know where we are at at this very moment? Well, we're in Azuril's dream, aren't we? That is correct. More precisely, we are in Azuril's nightmare. Azuril will remain trapped by this nightmare, never to awaken again. This nightmare will eventually creep across the world. For now, only Azuril is afflicted with this nightmare. But soon other Pokémon will be drawn in by the nightmare's widening web. More and more Pokémon will fall into an unending sleep. And ultimately, all Pokémon will be locked in this nightmare without end. All Pokémon? Hey, Cresselia, what will it take to get rid of the distortion in the fabric of space? How can the space distortion be eliminated? There is but one way to eliminate the distortion. That is, for you to disappear. What? Disappear? Us? I've been waiting for this opportunity. The opportunity to make you disappear. What? Wait a second. We don't want to disappear. We want to know more about what's happening. So you'd rather see all Pokemon swallowed up by a nightmare? That's not... That's not what I want. Celia, is this really true? If we disappear, will the world really be saved? Yes, it will be saved. Now die, please. For it is only your existence that is driving the world to ruin. Oh. I'm very sorry that I must do this. I'm so sorry about this. Prepare to disappear. It must be done. The world must be saved. Ah! Hey! Hello, Asprey. And Coco? Where are you? Oh, interrupted. My work was nearly finished. I was interrupted this time. But I will see to it that you two disappear. Of course, if you wish to save the world on your own, you should consider making yourselves disappear first. Farewell. You. That was close. Hey, there you are. Drowsy, why'd you come? You were taking so long to come back, I got worried. I decided to be brave and come looking for you. There's something dangerous about this place. We shouldn't stay here. Let's go back to the guild for the time being. Would you like to save your adventure? Heck yeah, I would. It's a kid's game, so it's nicer to say disappear instead of die. I see. So you encountered Cresselia, and she said that Azuril's nightmare is caused by the distortion in the fabric of space. Yep. If nothing's done about it, all Pokemon will join Azuril in unending sleep. This is what Cresselia said? Yep. That's all true. That's terrible trouble, to be sure. We've got to do something. So, Shatot, what do you know about Cresselia? I know of the Pokemon, but only from rumors. 
It said Cresselia appears only during the night of the quarter moon. It's also said that this Pokemon can heal others' emotional scars simply by the gentle from the gentle light from her body. Ugh. She didn't seem so kindly. There's one more thing about Cresselia. This Pokemon is said to possess a mystical power that can banish darkness. The power to banish darkness. Hey, hey, so let's get this straight. If we don't do something, all the Pokemon in the world are going to fall asleep forever? That means we got to do something now to fix the space distortion. Hey, Coco. Did Cresselia say anything about how the distortion of space can be stopped? Uh, um... How to stop the distortion of space? Uh, why are you jumpy? Did I ask something weird? No, no, it isn't anything you said. Sorry. I was thinking about something else. Uh, a way of stopping the distortion of space. Hmm. No, nope, I don't remember Cresselia saying a single thing about that. I see. That's unfortunate. Well, anyway. Let's look at the distortion of space together. We don't. We won't be able to stop the nightmare from spreading. <laughs> Wouldn't that be terrible? Shut up. Yes, Guildmaster. All right, everyone. We'll disband for the day. And starting tomorrow, you are to in individually investigate the distortion of space itself. Yep, yep, we'll do. Let me just do that. <laughs> All right, dismissed. When we were back at the guild, Drowsy asked if we knew how the distortion of space could be stopped. I lied. I didn't even think twice about it. As we know, there is a way to stop the distortion. We have to disappear from the world to do it. How could I say that about us? But should I have told everyone? Is that the right thing to do? Hey, Asprey. What are we supposed to do now? If we were to disappear, would the world be saved? In that case, maybe that's the best thing to do. Oh, Coco. Oh, I've had enough. I feel drained from all this worrying. Let's get some sleep. Let's get some comfy sleep. I'll grab a plushie. Jump in the giant like stack of hay whatever that is oh can't sleep coco is already asleep i guess but i have to wonder i understand we're causing the distortion of space but how that leads to the world ruin i still can't believe it i thought it was just merely something from a dream that first time but then with the second dream when i was told about the distortion of space that was when i started thinking maybe it was true hey Come to think of it, the morning after I had that dream, Coco said to me, Why are you daydreaming? Not like you. Come on, let's see some energy. Coco is even peppier than usual, but Coco could be right. Coco was unusually upbeat then, but Coco had just woke from that same dream about Cresselia that I had. Fixing my chair here. At that moment, Coco must have been acting extra cheerful around me. Because Coco suspected that I had just had the same dream and tried to cheer me up. Coco had to have been frightened, but Coco was much more concerned about me. Then in Azuril's nightmare, what Cresselia said and what she tried to do, I felt crushed by that, but... 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 That's why. I have to keep my spirit strong. My spirits... Strong... Spirits... It's nighttime, yet again. Where'd Coco go? Huh? Coco isn't here. Maybe outside? Where did you go, fox friend? So, Asprey. You're awake too, huh? Couldn't sleep at all. Hey. 
Can't we be allowed to stay? Can't we stay in this world? When we fought Dialga, Temporal Tower. You fought even though you knew you would disappear. Because even if you were to disappear, you thought that would save the world. That's why you did it, right? If that's the case, maybe we should do that this time, too. It's true that I fought Dialga knowing that I'd disappear if we succeeded. But that had to be done to prevent the planet's paralysis. Back then, I was willing to disappear if it meant saving the world. I feel the same this time, too. But is this situation really the same? Something... Something feels different this time around. Oh, Asprey. What do you think? Should we really disappear from this world? I don't know. Oh, you don't know? You must be thinking that maybe we ought to disappear. Well then... But something's strange. Strange? What's strange? Everything Cresselia said. What exactly was odd about what Cresselia said? But we separately found out that we're causing the space distortion while at Luminous Spring, too. And if Azuril can't wake up from his nightmare because of the distortion, I think we have to believe what we're told. Ugh, that's true. But something, something's different about disappearing this time. I know something's different. But what is it? I need to think carefully. That's it. That's right. This is different from before. Back then, with Dialga, my disappearance wasn't really a choice. I've got to explain that to Coco. What? It's different this time? What's... what's different? What? At Temporal Tower, you were willing to disappear, but it's not the same this time. What? You did what you did at Temporal Tower because you had to. You changed your future because you knew it would lead to world peace. But your choice wasn't really the choice to disappear. But there's no telling what will happen if we disappear. Not this time. So we don't really know if that will bring peace to the world again. What you're saying is nothing about this is certain. That's true. It's true that things aren't completely certain. But... It is a fact that you were a human who came from the future. And I did go to the future and came back to this world. And, if it, and it does seem that because of us, space has started to distort. There's no denying we changed history. That must mean what we were told is true. Oh! It's sunlight. The sun's coming up. It's beautiful. It's another beautiful dawn. Oh, Asprey. Seeing the sun come up this way makes me remember. I've seen the sunrise from here before. This isn't the first time. The first time, I was with Grovile. Grovile? Yeah. Remember when we first came back from the future? We slept here. That's when I saw the sunrise from here for the first time. I just remembered something about the first time. Something Grovile asked me. But when all seemed lost, you refused to give up. Even I had given up. What compelled you? How did you manage to stay so strong? I didn't give up when we were trying to escape from the future. I guess Grovile thought that was strange. That's why Grovile asked me why I wouldn't give up. But I didn't know how to answer, and how I managed to stay brave. I thought about it, and I began to realize something. Well, I wonder too. I really don't know. Maybe... Maybe it was because Asprey stood by me. Asprey? That was it. I managed to be brave because you were always with me. That was when I finally realized that. And that's what I told Grovile. Just before we lost Grovile in the Hidden Land. 
Coco, this is it for me. I'm taking Dusk Noir back to the future. Huh? What? I can never come back here again. Watch Asprey's back. Promise me. But... Take your place? I can't. You must and you will. Because you can. You two are the greatest of combinations. Grove Island trusted me with this last wish. I'm ashamed. Oh, if you're not giving up, I won't give up either. Coco, oh, happy Rilu. There must be something we can still do about this. There has to be a way of fixing things without us having to disappear. That's right. That's the Coco I know. We have to keep going. Let's find a way out of this. Oh, Asprey. I was just thinking. It was that... It was time that was being destroyed before, right? And now the very fabric of space is becoming distorted. Destruction of time and the distortion of space. I can't begin to conceive of such things. These troubles of time and space, I have a feeling that they're related. Time and space. A possible connection? Do you remember when time was breaking down? Lapras gave us a lot of insight into Temporal Tower. So about this distortion of space, you think Lapras might know something? Lapras? Well, actually, it wouldn't be unusual if Lapras did know something about this. I knew you'd agree with me. Well, that's that then. Let's go see Lapras. Lapras should be at the beach. Let's hurry to the beach. Oh boy, I wasn't expecting so much cutscenes right off the bat for this today. We're almost an hour in. I've barely done much, huh? Yo, I heard from the guild's crew. Sounds like there's bad trouble brewing again. Everyone's all checking this distortion of space. Yep, yep. I'll be on my way as soon as I get ready. Can I buy an orange gummy? I would like one candy today, good sir. Well, I'll buy a grass one then. How about that? How about that? <clears throat> okay. Okay. I got one box. I may as well open that up. Is that to appraisal? Oh, no, I have four of them. All right, then. Uh, two of them that I'm opening then. There we go. And so it's revealed within the box was a Persian fang. Okay. And so it's revealed within the box is Wabu Sweat. Ew! That's gross. A plot is happening, chat. Bears. We came back to Treasure Town for a rare visit. I'm shocked by the news. Little Azura will sleep or asleep and won't wake up? If nothing can be done, it won't be just Azura. All Pokemon will get locked up and sleep forever. It's a crisis. Oh, poor Teddy. Is it? Could it be hatching? Could it? Will it? Hmm? Well, not quite yet. I went to get a sip of my cocoa and I, like, bonked my teeth off the mug. Ow. Oh my, things have taken a turn for the Sinister. I hope something can be done before all Pokemon get caught in a nightmare. I don't want all Pokemon to end up in a nightmare. Think of all the Teddy Ursus that would have bad sleep because of that. Chat, would you want to see Teddy Ursus end up in bad sleep? I don't think you would. That's a crisis right there. We gotta do something about it. Alright, just store these. Teddies would never be able to sleep in peace again. The absolute freaking horror of such a place existing. Right, I was going to the beach. Say, Lapras, there's something we want to ask you. We're investigating the distortions in the fabric of space. The distortion of space itself? Yes, and we'd like to learn anything you might know about it. Hmm. Can you help us? Do you know anything? Sorry to say, I don't know anything about the space distortions. I see. However, I do know of a being that embodies space itself. Pardon? A being that embodies space itself? Yes. Time and space are deeply connected. 
So just as Dialga governs time itself, so too there is a being that governs the fabric of space. That being, who is it? Its name is Palkia. This being is said to possess the ability to distort space itself. And Spatial Rift is said to be its domain. The being that governs space, Palkia. Another being like Dialga. If we meet Palkia, we might be able to learn more about the space distortions. So, uh, how do we get to Spatial Rift? Can you travel there, just like you go to the Hidden Land? I hate to disappoint, but I can't travel to Spatial Rift. I don't even know where it is. That's all I can tell you. Oh, all right. Sorry, Coco. Sorry that I'm not much help. No, no, not at all. Learning about the existence of Palkia is a big help to us. Thank you, Lapras. We'll investigate on our own from now. So basically, Lapras didn't know much about the distortion of space. He did tell us that Palkia controls space itself and that this being dwells in spatial rift. Yes, Coco, I was with you five minutes ago. Palkia, huh? If we can meet with Palkia, we'd be able to ask about the distortion of space. But we don't know where spatial rift is. Hmm, I guess there isn't any point in worrying about it right now. Let's continue to look into this tomorrow. There's no giving up now. I asked one question. Well, that's a gold day's work. Wah! Tremors! Ah! I have found you at last. The defilers who are causing the distortion of space. Yes, nice to meet you. Uh, around here, we knock before we enter. Who are you? I am Palkia. I hold sway over space. I have dominion over dimension. Yeah, well, people are sleeping around here. Keep, uh, turn the caps lock off. Palkia. You're Palkia? You cannot escape now. This is the end of you. Gru! Oh, oh, great. We're floating over the ocean. Floating over the ocean. Where is this? This is my domain. Spatial Rift. What? This is Spatial Rift? You dare distort, distort space without my permission? I will be rid of you now. What? This is the end. What are you doing? There's absolutely nothing behind us. Gruel. They fell. However, there is no escaping me. Grew. Wow. Ow. Ugh, are you okay? Looks like we landed somewhere else. This is all such a shock. Who knew things would turn out this way? I don't understand. Why did Palkia suddenly attack us? He seemed to be bellowing about the distortion of space. Palkia. Palkia seemed to know that we caused the distortion of space. And then he attacked us. I don't understand why. There's no mistaking one thing. Palkia's trying to get rid of us. We might attempt another attack. We should get out of here as soon as we can. Let's go as soon as we're ready. Alright then. Let's make a save. Heck yeah, save and continue. All right, chat. Let's get in there. You ready? Heck yeah. All right. Audio good. Should I turn it up some more? I can do that. Turn it up slightly. Chat talk. Oh, this is spatial rift. All right. Demons lurk in here. Oopsie. Go to level up. That is Zatu down there. No one's gonna recruit the first time I visit, of course. Because cutscene at the end of this. 51.
Let's go, lads. You dare distort space without my permission? I I control space. Daddy Arceus said it is my domain. No one's allowed to do it except for me. Like, oh my god, this is so rude. I'm gonna make you pay. I'm gonna I'm gonna smack you two woodland creatures. <laughs> Quick seed. Uh-oh, here comes a Magnazone. This is such bullcrap. Like, oh my gosh. What do you think Palkia was doing in the future when Dialga went mad? Well, that's that's a time problem. Um, Space isn't involved, so I'm just gonna chill over here while the world falls apart. Hey, wait a second. The world's falling apart because of these two. Hang on, I, got, I gotta get involved. I gotta get involved. This is a problem. This is a big problem. Doom seed. You think Dialga and Palkia just like hang out sometimes? Or they just don't care? Are they like brothers? Siblings? Co workers? I don't know. There we go. Or do you think they just argue like the Pearl Clan and Diamond Clan in Legends? There we go. Ow. Now I'm gonna need you to cut that out forever. There we go. Legend says they're siblings. Oh. Okay. Uh oh. Ouchie. Did it straight up say that? Is that where, when did they say that? I don't remember. That's another gummy. Oh, I'm I'm apparently full on crap. Get rid of these damn doom seeds soon enough too. Garatina as well. Garatina is like the like the brother that they just try to pretend doesn't exist, but they they can't ignore him when he shows up to the family gatherings, just getting drunk. <laughs> XI seed. Is that Charizard? Why are there Charizards in here? Long way from home, Dragon Boy. Oh no, it's a girl. It's just yo yo. Oopsie. I need to get rid of some stuff. Charizard has to die. It's in the way. Yeah, I wish I could just easily get rid of some more stuff, but whatever. Hang on, let me just eat this off the ground. And just... Chimeco. Why is it that this place... Also, sorry, I kind of like... I kind of like, like hiccup burp. I don't know if you can hear it. <laughs> um... This place seems to be filled with, like, story Pokemon, mainly. Oh, no, no all right. Toxicroak, that's a new one. It feels like a very random assortment of Pokemon, doesn't it? Because it's a spatial rift. Steel Wing, Quick Seed. Hello, Gallade. You're looking very skinny there. Need the roll call. Oopsie. All right. Nothing I can do except get extra experience here as I go through. So I may as well just make a beeline for the freaking stairs, like always. Crap. No, don't do that. I still got pebbles. I hope this is enough. Confusion still hasn't gone away. All right, there we go. Good for you. Got him. Oh, 
Let's take you out. Well, we're not in Purity Forest. I definitely don't need those Quick Seeds right now. Eat this Cherry Berry. I'm about to leave this floor so I can throw away the Doom Seeds now without worrying about uh, someone picking them up and throwing them at me. This is the only place where you can recruit Porygon? Really? Damn. Uh-oh. Damn it, Yo-Yo, leave me alone. You're getting bopped. What was that? Oh, that was Guillotine. That was an interesting animation for it. So Pokemon Legends wasn't the first game where you can only get Porygon from a Spatial Rift. Whoa. I could milk a 10 minute video out of that fun fact. Watch me. And I'll sell everyone a crappy mobile game too. Oh, there's that. It's the only place you can get Bronzer as well. Okay. Floor 12. Don't need that stuff up there. Damn it. Discharge is annoying. Alright, no reason to really hang around. I haven't been able to do much recruiting because all the dungeons I visited are pretty much like they're locking me out of recruiting stuff. I'll just eat an Ornberry. I need to free up space anyway. Charizard's getting bullied. They're getting bopped like Cleffas today. If they don't want to get bopped, they should stay out of my path. There's a drowsy over there, too. Recruiting is post post game content. Yeah, I kind of feel like that. There we go. You know, I did just notice that. Like, Riolu and Vulpix, they kind of have complementary colors, don't they? It's like Sonic and Tails, almost. The blue and orange. Oh, hello, Spiritomb. Uh-oh. Well, all right, then. That could have been scary. This music is very spooky. Is that gummy? Brown gummy. What does this one do? Drop by status where the immediate surrounding area will be dark even in rooms. Okay, it's just another one of those. Don't gonna worry too much about it. It is the same music as the area before Spirit Tomb. Silent Hill. There we go. Oh, that did a lot. You deal with it. Attack it. I better eat an Orenberry for just in case things go wrong. I'm also going to eat an Elixir just for item space, because I have way too many of those. Music can be spooky in these games. This game has been fun. I like all the little locations. It's nice. Maybe if I get actually make progress on that Pokemon Essentials idea, I'll mess around with the hacking tools. A little bit for, uh, the, like, what is it, the Sky Temple stuff? Hang on a second. If I get to that, which... I'm totally, I totally just remembered it. I didn't show it yet. Hang on. Hang on. I mentioned last time I streamed this about, like, making a sprite edit. And I did do that. Let me just, um, let me just find it. 
Yeah, let me just find it right here right quick so I can put it on screen. I made a little edit of one of the Mystery Dungeon sprites. What did I call it, though? I don't remember what, uh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, I edited some of Zigzagoon sprites to look like it's Galarian form, like I talked about. I didn't do the whole sprite sheet, but I did do it. <laughs> I wanted to show that off for a moment. <laughs> little tongue. It's a cute little friend. If only I could- if I could edit the whole thing and replace his sprite to make him look like that, that would be nice. But I don't know how the modding tools work. <laughs> and... Okay, let me just hide that now. And get back to game. If I could make some more stuff like that and pop it in games, that would be nice. Let me boop a Jolteon now. I would love to see all the regional forms... Uh-oh. That's not good. All the regional forms have, like, little Mystery Dungeon sprites, but we don't have sprites in these games anymore. Make a Flapple. Maybe one day. I wanted to put Flapple... Er, like, not Flapple, uh... Applin in in general in uh something for essentials, but I guess Gen 8 Pokemon aren't exactly built into it. What did that say? Oh, it picked up a joy ribbon, that's right. Alright. Let's attack this thing. You bully! That's rude. What did that say? Took calamitous damage? Oh, is that what we're calling it now? Okay. Stamina band, unneeded. Let's check over here. We found nothing. Oh, wait. I have a key. Right? I do. Um... What can you get from the keys and er, the locked doors in this place? Is this worth using? I'm kind of I'm kind of curious since I have it here. I just had this with me for so long. Hmm. Gonna drink of my cocoa. Legendary crow gunk items. Really? Most of them are legendary mon boost items or joy seeds. Really? Just use it? Alright, I'm gonna go for it. Uh, wait, do I have to use it on myself? Is that how it works? Please kill. You gotta stop doing that, my dude. You gotta stop doing that! Kill him already. A reviver seed. That's it? I mean, I guess I needed that right now after losing one, but you know, that's it? It doesn't work if you're holding other boxes? Wait, wait, so I can't get a, a cool thing from the key door if I, had, if I have boxes in my inventory? Oh, that's kind of lame. Anyway. Huh? Asprey over there. It's a dead end! What should we do? This is as far as we go. Ah! Tremors! Palkia. Your resistance is useless. You will never escape from this place. Ugh. I will reveal why. It is your fate. To be obliterated by me. Here it comes. We have to fight. This is it. Uh oh. Wait, okay, what? Bully tactics! How many revivers do I got? Can I stand this? I got two revivers. Wow, he has a funny little sleep animation. Alright. 
And let's make sure he dies then. Okay. That's all I got. I don't have link moves. I guess now I gotta spam this. I lived, damn you, I lived! Ugh. Do I have nothing else to throw at him? No! Oh, you idiot, I tried to turn. That's so stupid, whatever. That upset me. Come on. Missed an entire hit. Okay, good. I almost just lost the whole fight because of the crap. Grew! Ah. Grew! Ah. Huh? Palkia? Palkia, stop moving. What happened to him? Palkia has been... Palkia has been enveloped by the nightmare. Just as Azuril has a voice. Where is it coming from? Who are you? What do you mean Palkia has been enveloped in the nightmare? It means the power of darkness has spread so much farther. If its growth remains unchecked, the world will become drowned in darkness. But you too. Would you enter Palkia's nightmare? What? Palkia's nightmare? Yes, by entering his nightmare. You will learn why Palkia attacked you. So what will you do? What do we do? Should we go into Nightmare? No. What, you won't go in? But if we don't do anything, we'll never be able to return to the Treasure Town. We have a choice. All right, fine. Fine, you decided. I will send you into Palkia's Nightmare. Would you like to save your adventure? Another illusion of choice. Of course I would. Oh, Palkia. You too. What are you doing in my dreams? No, I remember. We battled. So why am I dreaming? You've been enveloped by a nightmare, Palkia. What? What did you say? I'm... I'm a night in a nightmare? Rue. Wah. This proves it. You both should not exist. Grew. Ah, Palkia. Wait a second. We have to ask you something. Why are you trying to get rid of us? You dare pretend you don't know. You are distorting space with reckless abandon. If distortion spreads, the power of darkness will grow. The world will be drowned in this nightmare of darkness to prevent it. You must be wiped from existence. Oh, there must be... Must be some other way. You govern space and dimension, don't you? Can't you mend the distortion of space yourself? It is true I can bend space to my will. But, for the first time ever, I am unable to control a part of space. Worse still, the distortion of space is amplifying. This is all you're doing. There is no now but one way to save the world. And that is for you to be erased from the world forever. Uh oh. Palkia is saying the same thing Cresselia said. Oh. Cresselia told us the truth after all. Maybe they're right about us. Maybe we do have to disappear. I feel sorry for you. This must be done to preserve peace. Please understand. Palkia. Ah, here you are. Found you at last. Celia. Oh, spreading darkness engulfs even this place. You must be eliminated as soon as possible. Before we finally pass the point of no return. Oh, we refused to give up. We did what we could. After everything we did, was it all for nothing? Was all our effort a waste? So are you ready for your end? Uh, Cresselia, one moment. Tell us one last thing. If we disappear, will the world really and truly be saved? Yes, it absolutely will. 
The world will be saved. It's beyond a shadow of a doubt. Are you finally satisfied? Yes. If we must. We really, really must disappear. That will save the world. After so much, Coco's will is starting to sway. And so is mine. But is this truly and absolutely the correct course of action? Wait, Cresselia? Blinded by fury, I attacked them earlier. But upon seeing them now, they do not seem driven by malice or wickedness. In my dreams, Cresselia, you insisted that they were bad. But are they truly bad? Cresselia said that about, the, about us? In Palkia's dreams? Don't be fooled by appearances, Palkia. If we get rid of them now, all will be saved. So just like we did, Palkia met Cresselia in his dreams. But now Palkia is growing suspicious. Something's very wrong here. All this is based on what Cresselia claims. Enough! I'll be rid of you now. Coco. Don't abandon hope. Now take this. Yes, that's exactly it. Never abandon hope. Now wait just a darn diddly minute, chat. Something ain't right here. Something just isn't right. What? There's a second? Cresselia? Wah! What, what is this? Who is this? Excellent. I was just in time. Blast you, Cresselia. I have been foiled, just as I was about to dispose of those meddlers once and for all. Please listen, Asprey, Coco, and Palkia. You have all been misled this t you have been misled all this time by Darkrai there. What? Cresselia, you thought you knew until now, was not me. That false Cresselia was nothing more than an illusion made by Darkrai. It was merely a mockery of me. What? Cresselia, we knew the Cresselia we knew up to now was just a fake? Darkrai, using an, an, an illusory duplicate of me to deceive others is so typical of you. But you usually never bring your actual self out of hiding. You normally operate under the cover of darkness. That you'd personally emerge from the shadows to dispose of these two is so very unlike you. You two, behind Cresselia. What? Correct. Pay close attention. Now the one truly responsible for exploiting the space distortion? For shrouding the world in nightmare? It's my doing. Mine alone. What? What did you say? You are more than welcome to try and stop me. Come to me in the dark crater. You're not getting away, Darkrai. Darkrai vanished? You cannot catch me, Cresselia. Not ever. You two, I shall be waiting in the dark crater. Dark crater. So, okay, he's responsible for it, but what what did that have to do with my character and my partner? Like, I, I still don't understand how we fit into all of this. Why do you have to kill me? Meryl! Azuril, that's great! You woke up from your nightmare. Yep. You did it, Miss Cresselia. Thank you so much. And Mr. Drowsy, too. Huh? Me? Thank you very much, Mr. Drowsy. Mr. Drowsy, I have to thank you, too. You stayed to take care of Azuril this whole time. Thank you so much. Well, shucks, it's the least I could do. Say, Cresselia, what happened to Palkia? Palkia is immersed within Spatial Rift. Where he's attempting to take care of the distortion of space. As the being that governs space itself, he is staking his pride on, on his success. Given that duty, I would not expect to see him manifest here again. Oh, so you're saying he's never going to say sorry. Well done, how remarkable. It's truly quite marvelous. Marvelous indeed, Cresselia. We've heard of your power to dispel darkness, but only in rumor. But it was all true. I must say it's completely marvelous. I understand. You used your power when we were in Palkia's nightmare. 
That's how you pull Palkia and us out of the nightmare. Indeed. I do have the power to dispel darkness. It lets me dispel nightmares and awaken those in deepest sleep. Darkrai stands as an opposite to my being. He has the power to enshroud those who sleep in nightmare. Coco and Asprey. Do you recall where you met my imposter? The imposter, that is to say, the first Cresselia you met. Those encounters were always within dreams, weren't they? That's... that's true. It's true. The first time was in a dream, then later on, come to think of it. I cannot fathom how you come here, but I find your visit so convenient. I've longed to meet both of you. That time, I wasn't dreaming, so I guess it never occurred to me. But I realized that was in Azuril's nightmare. In other words, it was still a dream. Then the next time we met, it was in Palkia's nightmare. The first Cresselia, we encountered her only in dreams. Darkrai has the power to create realistic illusions. What Darkrai was doing was using his illusions to make you think you were seeing me. It was all an elaborate ruse to get at you, Aspring and Coco, so that your whole existence could be eliminated. What? To eliminate Asprey and Coco? From this world? Eliminate? These two? Well, it's shocking he wanted to get rid of you, but why would Darkrai plot something so complicated? Why go to all the trouble of causing or using a Cresselia imposter? Wouldn't it be faster to confront them directly in battle? I would guess that it was all out of fear of Asprey and Coco. Darkrai was afraid of me and Asprey? Yes. Because Asprey and Coco saved the world once before. That was when they prevented the collapse of Temporal Tower. But who was really the one that put the ruin of Temporal Tower in motion? Who was it that really sought to put the planet into paralysis? It was none other than Darkrai. What? <sighs> Darkrai was behind the crisis at Temporal Tower? Darkrai intends to enshroud the world in darkness. Darkrai failed to do that with the destruction of Temporal Tower. After that failure, he turned his attention to the distortion of space itself. If the distortion of space were to grow, Darkrai's power would create nightmares would also grow. What he sought to do was envelop all Pokemon in a nightmare. It was all Darkrai's doing. He was making the distortion of space expand. Darkrai was doing that? Isn't the space distortion expanding because of our existence? It is true your existence is causing space distortion. The distortion you cause is extremely small. Furthermore, your distortion of space won't expand on its own. Then, yes, the expanding distortion of space has nothing to do with you. It was blamed on you, however, so that you would be eliminated. It was all part of Darkrai's elaborate deception. Oh, Asprey. I... I'm so glad we're not beings that must not exist. It's okay for us to live in this world. We're not unwanted. Earth. Coco. I don't know what you two went through, but it's just not possible for either of you, Coco and Asprey, to be unwanted in this world. If either of you went away, Coco or Asprey, it would make me sad. I think everyone at the guild would be sad, too. It makes us happy you're with us, Coco and Asprey. That's reason enough to keep existing. Wigglytuff. More than that, it's not just Coco or Asprey. Everyone here, all the Pokemon of the world, not one of them lives, or one of their lives without meaning. I think you're not wanted again. Hey, full of cheer. All right. Oh, thank you, Wigglytuff. Hey, hey. But talk about dirty and dishonest. That dark is a piece of work. He never comes out in the open. He does his nefarious work from the shadows. If you confront him, he will always flee. That is how Darkrai has always done things. But Darkrai is doing something so unlike him right now. He's invited Coco and Asprey to confront him. It's true. Darkrai left these parting words. Oh, okay, we gotta... Alright. You're more than welcome to try and stop me. Come to me and Dark Crater. I remember it like it was 30 seconds ago. You too. I shall be waiting. Why did we need this twice? <laughs> I'll be waiting in Dark Crater. Dark Crater. Oh, phew. thank goodness you told me five times. I was about to go to Light Crater by mistake. He said he'd be waiting for us. Waiting for us in the Crater of the Dark. 
Cresselia, you believe that he demanded cocoa and aspirin come from for a reason, don't you? Do you believe it's a trap? Yes, it's a trap, without a doubt. Doesn't matter if it's a trap or not. We don't stop Darkrai. He'll smother the whole world in darkness. He'll put all the Teddy Ursas in nightmares, and we can't let that happen, chat. Oh, thank you for the raid there, home. We have to do something. We're going to Dark Crater. Okay, I respect your decision. I will accompany you. I have long been aware of Darkrai's scheme. I've pursued him a long time to thwart his plan. But every time I caught up to him, he would elude me. This time, he's waiting for us. I would like to settle this once and for all. I'll go too. Me too. Yep, yep. Bye golly. I'm delighted by everyone's offer to help. I'm afraid that Darkrai would be scared off if too many of us were to go. There's a rare chance to corner Darkrai and stop his nefarious scheme. Please be content with just the three of us going. Aw, that's too bad. But I have to say, y'all yeah, right. Don't worry, everyone. We'll be sure to defeat Darkrai and come back. I'm going to hit him with the Force Palm, and it's going to be painful. Oh, boy. He died on floor 93. Oh, sucks to hear, man. Yes, you do that. If anyone can, it's you. Y'all take care, by golly. Everyone, thank you. Let's go, Asprey. Let's go to Dark Crater, where Dark Rye awaits. So this is truly... This is truly the end of the post-game. Have I reached it already? To the northwest of here. There is a land of volcanic terrain. The Dark Crater is located there. Please tell me when you're ready to leave. I'll guide you to the Dark Crater. Let's talk to friends. You show that dark right. He picked with the wrong bunch to mess with. Good luck, Asprey and Coco. Go, 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 Asprey and Coco. Don't let that dark right beat you. All right, let's open up boxes first. Malevolent darkness. The darkness spreads and deepens. Its progress can be halted. Yes, but only to you. I shall ask this of you. Stop dark right's future of nightmares. All right, let's open up the boxes. Maybe I'll get. Revival seeds or re revival seeds, reviver seeds. All right, and drink there. Now let's open it all up. Vanish seed. Isn't that just in invisify orb? Pretty much. Bring all your revivers. Yep. Yeah, all right. We'll go. Chancy song. So if I do this, I'll finally be done with post-game and I can evolve into Lucario and Ninetales. That'd be a nice change of pace to do that while we're recruiting. Insomniscope. That sounds like something I should uh, bring to fight Darkrai, honestly, but I have the IQ skill. Jiggly Song. You have nothing. All right, check money. Let's see if I can buy some stuff here. I'll wait for your success. Oh, he doesn't have what I need. Better take the white gummy, though, for Teddy Ursa later. Heard you gotta face a tough enemy. You, do, you two can do it. You're sure to win. All right, I don't know if I have any more revivers, though, chat. <laughs> a bit worried. I can just sell the Insomniscope for more money, but not right now. Turns Pokemon invisible. I should take all my good seeds for the boss fight. Trawl Orb, Escape, Elixir. Get rid of the Plain Seeds, too. I don't have any Revivers left. Oh, that's bad. I might be in trouble. I might be in trouble. Pass Scarf doesn't work in boss fights in this game for some silly reason. Uh, should be able for swap for revivers at Spinda. Oh, was I able to do that? All right then. 
Well, let's go that way, and I got gummies to make anyway. Good luck. Go for it. Be strong for us. And go bring peace to the world. Okay, baby. Everything was Dark Rise doing? I, for one, am amazed. Don't let that scheme in Darkrai beat you. You're the only hope. You have to beat Darkrai for us, please. Do it for the teddies, chat. Do it for the teddies. We can't let them down. I should probably see if that egg will hatch. Here we go. I'm looking after your egg. Check. Not quite yet. <laughs> okay. I'm assuming whom knows about the Hatch Primal Dialga thing. I did that the other day. It was great. <laughs> hey, Team Moomin, you're right at the right time. Earlier, a strange Pokemon asked me to give you this. Sky Stairway. Act promptly, that is all. Would you like to accept the mission? Yes, I would. <laughs> I'll take it. Treasure memo. Find treasure. Alright, that's the Dialga mission. Sky Stairway. Alright, there we go. One of the world's seven treasures. I don't really need to go for. Have you heard of Shaman's Delivery Service? It's a service that will deliver sky gifts to others. The shop is near Shaman Village. Check it out. Ever since I came back from Sky Peak, the daily routine has been kind of boring. Sometimes bottles with messages wash up on the beach. It's kind of romantic. That's a weird way to say it. Romantic. Next round's recycling projects. We made a new discovery. Treasure was discovered. We're offering a higher grade of recycled items. Alright, let's recycle so much garbage now. Recycle. Okay, good. Uh, wait. Two es it costs two escape orbs to do this. An escape orb is apple, big apple. Okay. I guess I'm just doing this then. I'm gonna get as many reviver seeds as I can. I don't really need to take escape orbs with me. Taking this. No! Damn it. Heck yes. Don't be afraid of grinding apple woods. Well, I don't really have escape. Uh, you will need those revivers. Okay, I can pop in apple woods for a little bit then. First, let me just uh, have some gummy stuff. I got quite a bit now. Well, let's get started. There's probably Pokemon I can uh, re recruit in Apple Woods anyway. Shake this way, shake that way. And stir it all around, and it's done. Gummy soda. Lava evader. What? Does that mean I can walk on lava? Doesn't mean that, does it? Out of the gummy. That's right. Shake it this way. It's an AI skill. Oh, so just common sense. Thought walk on lava. So I don't need it. What? IQ increased too. Alright, tax going up. That's good. Grass gummy is just ugh, probably the grossest thing you can imagine. How much candy do you have to eat to learn common sense? Sleet. Getting good attack gains. Okay, we'll pick up as many apples as I can in Apple Woods. While also doing a trip to gather extra recruits or something. I got a good feeling about this drink. Defense rose by one. What? IQ increased too. So, 
once we're done with this, we're finally going to be able to do the big push for, um, recruit them all, then. The game really does kind of lock you out of doing a, a bunch of recruiting <laughs> during the post-game, doesn't it? Because it's just one story beat after another. Silver gummy just tastes like metal. Yeah. Special attacks again, I don't need. I need apples to convert to escape orbs, which I will then convert into reviver seeds. <laughs> I see you are a true connoisseur. <gasps> Plusle? Look at that little rabbit. I noticed the way you tasted your drink, getting to know the flavor before gulping it down. You're obviously a gourmet. I would love to join you on your adventures. What do you think? I love just doing that and getting random Pokemon to make recruiting easier. There is, like, a recruit them all speed run for this game, right? I wonder, like, if, like, the, the, high, t like, the high places on the leaderboard are just, like, have people getting obs obscenely rare Pokemon from the drinks. Yeah, I can also check uh, the other Kecleon right quick to see if they're selling uh, escape orbs. Good call. There's something written on the bottom. Woohoo, a secret exploration spot that only you know about. Lush Prairie. Oh, that sounds nice. Can you just something? Alright, that takes care of all that. Let's go check and see if he's selling the thing speedrun RNG. And I did make sure to download uh, the Wii U version of this before the shop closes, yeah. <laughs> I know that's the speedrunner preferred version because it doesn't load or whatever. Or have long loading times when saving. Go forward to victory fight. Alright, let's check for escape orbs. Ah, oh, you don't got any. That's unfortunate. Alright, I'm gonna sell a couple things now. Um, I don't need this. I'll just recycle the plain seeds next time. Just sell those, though. All right, there we go. My Wii U is absolutely stuffed with so many classic games. And I'm looking forward to streaming them this summer. I wanted to start that Zelda marathon from the beginning, too, with that. So many, D so many like, Zelda games on there I got on. Uh, and there's also the HD versions, of course. Okay, if this is the case, let me just recycle the plain seeds as well. And ton, tons of Kirby, I got that too, don't worry. Okay. And some more Pokemon stuff I haven't really played before, like the three Ranger games. I've talked about that a bit too. Gold ticket, let's recycle. Uh, treasure bag. Warp seed's kind of garbage. I can't use it in boss, fight, boss arenas either, so do that. Okay, that's good. Nice. You can either use the dojo to grind escape orbs quickly, or use apple woods to grind apples, plus other items like gummies slowly. True enough, but we can also get some recruits from apple woods, probably. So let's go in there. It's fine. We don't get a rush. I should really stretch a little bit. I haven't, like, done that much today. Even though I did, like, a bit of a workout. Uh, this morning before starting the stream. Orinberry. Okay. How do you unlock Destiny Tower in this game, by the way? I never even stopped to think about that. Does that just become available once I'm done the last of the post game here? It's from the cafe? Oh, I just keep getting random drinks, really? The ultimate hardcore dungeon of this game, the Purity Forest equivalent is from Spinda's Cafe. Wow, that was unexpected. Let's go to Apple Woods. Alright, so we're looking for escape orbs and apples. I'm assuming escape orbs are in the pool for, like, every dungeon, though. Get some cocoa. Alright. I have one Troll Orb on me as well, so I can use that when I'm, uh, near... Oh! I suppose you got an escape orb here. Nope, blow back. 
Okay. I believe it's like the skill I wanted to get on Pokemon like Teddy Ursa. Um, it's not orange, so I guess I need it. Okay, let's send it back. All right, let's get some recruiting done, chat. Looking for items, looking for apples. Sleep seed. Okay, here's this. Okay, well, here's a Caterpie. What level is it? 10. I could evolve it right to Butterfree. Or grab multiple of them. Nice. Okay, I should have a Trawl Orb, so let me use that up. Ugh, garbage. The Spin to Cafe should give you a plush to sit, sit with while you're there. That would be great. Someone should just make a Spin to Cafe fan game. That would be wholesome, wouldn't it? And like I've been saying, just use Valhalla music. Uh, it's orange, so I that means I got it. The Paris went away. Ah, nothing. Well, I guess that's that. You know, for a place called Applewood, there we go. All I had to do was start complaining and it showed up. Alright, here's a Badoo. Definitely want to... I, I'm pretty sure I have Roselia recruited. Yeah, I do. I did get a Roselia. So I just need, a, like, a Rose Raid or just a second Roselia and a Dawn Stone. Or was it Shiny Stone? I don't know. Low back Orb. I need more apples. I need, or in particular, I need big apples. All I have is regular apples. Come on. There's another Burmy. Hello, Executor. Hello, Butterfree. Okay, nothing there. Looks like we're getting out in a moment. Floor five. Oh, gummies. Nice. Well, we can always go back to Spinda for more gummy drinks. Special band. Can give that to Coco. Do that. Hello, Hoppet. Thank goodness the list uh, sorts them by, like, Pokedex number now. It's easier to keep track of which ones I do and don't have. I found one regular apple in Applewood so far. That's cool. I don't know if I need a second one yet. I'm pretty sure I have... Yeah, I have the Evolution recruited, don't I? It's Motham I don't have, and I guess I'll just grab Butterfree. Okay. Getting some mons taken care of today. Deluxe box, isn't that the good one? Like the treasure stuff? Hang on. Let me check over here. Oh my god. Yeah, you're telling me I'm hungry, alright. Oh, what a pain pain this is. We need a second Butterfree. Lots of boxes. I forget if you can get gummies from boxes. Maybe I'll find an escape orb in there or something. I don't know. Red gummy. Give that to Coco after. Eat the sleep seed. Did I get an Oddish? I don't recall. Golly, there are a whole lot of no apples here. For a place called Apple Woods. Heal seed. Boxes pretty much are giving you mission rewards for the floor you find them on. Is that how they work? 
I don't want to eat the apples. But... I don't want to burn the reviver seed either. There's one. Okay, I've got more regular apples than big apples, honestly, so I'm just gonna eat one. I came here for big apples, and I'm not getting any. Hello, Paris. I don't need you. I already got you. So, do I just have, like, the worst RNG in the world, or and there's just, not, like, no apples? I got a B from an egg. Oh my god. Butterfree, I don't need you. It's a baby bee. Well, I guess I'm moving on. So I picked up a regular apple. Holy golly. That better be a big apple. Oh. That's probably all the items on this floor, too. You know it is. Yeah, definitely all the items I got now. There's no point doubtful there'd be anything else. Okay. Oh, a skate warp. Okay, that's better. That's better than finding a big apple, that's for sure. It's something. You would think that apples would actually be in uh, Apple Woods, though. That's just what I'm wondering. That's what I'm wondering, chat. I could turn the sniff IQ skill back on. That would probably be a good idea. Hang on. Oopsie. Guess apples are out of season. Yeah, that's what it's beginning to feel like now, isn't it? Total items on floor, four. Okay. Did a Paris pick up an escape orb? I don't think I saw that. Did it? Okay, one more. Green gummy, or grass gummy. items on floor. Oh, it did? I missed it? Oh, well. I thought it picked up something else. Hello, Gloom. I'm gonna have to eat a regular apple now. So I'm gonna end up starving to death at this rate. Oh, well. That is what it is. We'll live. I just needed, like, one big apple, and it would have been enough to get another escape orb. I don't think I'm gonna end up coming back to Apple Woods. It's not right now. Decoy. Ugh, damn. How many did it say? Three items on the floor. Stun seed. There was nothing there. If it's Apple Woods, it better be spawning Big Apple somewhere. I'd be willing to bet I'll get more escape orbs from, like, uh, the mission rewards here. Oh. Well, I guess I'll take this. Let's get this one our best. Okay, let's send you back. I reached the end. Too bad I can't just take apples from the tree here. Appears to be the end of the dungeon. Impossible to go further. Let's go back. Aspen cleared apple woods in an admirable fashion. I got some friends along the way, at least. Let's 
Let's make it another great day. Oh, there's Cresselia. Well, let's check the shop. Ugh. Well, I'm buying an orange gummy, that's for sure. Escape orb. Damn. I am not having great luck with this. First, let's go to Spinda. So, do the, when you say check Marowak's dojo, do you mean that there's a chance of escape orb spawning, or do you mean doing that to reset the shop over and over? Did you hear the happy news? Thanks to everyone's recycling efforts. Project P made new discovery. Higher grade recycled items. Escape warp spawn in the dojo. Yeah, it sounds faster than getting big apples, apparently. Okay, defense scarf, power ban, orange berry, reviver seed. Escape orb. Can't get it. This is silly. Alright, let's have some drinks. Welcome to the fresh and friendly Spinach Juice Bar chat. Alright. So, place your bets. Am I gonna get a new friend that thinks I'm a great connoisseur of drinks? That's right. Shake it this way. Shake it that way. Just turn all around, and it's done. My IQ went up, and I got a lot of nothing out of it. If you could just sell a big apple, that would be fantastic. Orange gummy's what I need, though. I've got a good feeling about this. Pulpy orange. IQ went up significantly. More, even more IQ. Red gummy. Coco can have it. Can you get people to join you when you make your partner drink it? Or is it only when the leader drinks? That'd be annoying if trying to upgrade multiple Pokemon. Animon. Okay. Yellow gummy. Yellow gummies always have a weird taste to them. As long as it's a gummy or vitamin, okay. Defense stat rose. Ah, no new stuff. Okay. Well, my stats went up. That's at least something. Alright, let's check out the dungeon. Oops. It's on the other side here. What am I doing? Um, maybe the egg will hatch as well. Let's try that. And after your egg... Huh? The egg? Is it? Could it? Could it be close to hatching? Will it? Huh? What? The egg hatch. A healthy onyx. Alright. Is that a rare mon? I don't think I've seen it in, like, a dungeon anywhere. Onyx is happy to be a member. I don't think it's rare. I should deposit my money and stuff. Why, do I lose money and stuff when I go in there? Do I lose all my items going into the uh, a dojo? Was that it? I don't remember that. Ah, that's a pain in the ass. All right, I'm gonna have to deposit everything then. All items and money, ah. Well, I'm gonna have to do this if I want to get more escape orbs and reset the shop. Uh, I should probably open the boxes, too. Let me do that, too. Held items, too. Yeah, I know. I deposited them. All right. Hopefully there's a... Oh, I deposited all my money. What am I... I Court, what am I doing? I put my money away. Of course I can't open those. Store it away. Alright, I got nothing to my name, and we're gonna go to the dojo. 
And we'll look around and we'll hopefully get some escape orbs. I heard what's going on from the others. It's you two. There's no failure in either of you. Go into battle with confidence. Roar. Welcome to Marowak Dojo. Train yourself. May is the right to tell you one thing. Train amazing aren't like ordinary gen. There's Nikki part. You see, when you go and you hand over everything that's in your treasure bag to avoid losing your item treasure bag, put them in Kangaskhan. There's more. If you get KO'd, you don't lose the new money and items you found in the maze. You get to keep them. There's no risk, so you can go all out while you train. Train all you want here. Toughen yourselves up. Okay. Normal fly maze, dragon maze, ghost maze. Can you recruit people in the dojo like in Makahita? Not quite sure. No recruits? All right. I don't know if these, if it matters. If you enter here, all items, treasure bag, we lost. You enter here, items are lost. Yep. Total items, three. Hey! We're making bank already. Hey! Okay, this is way better than looking for a single big apple. Remix is fire. Is there a benefit to beating all the mazes? What do you get from it? Okay, that was that. For the exploration log. Well, all I need. I didn't kill it? Wow, surprised. Hang on. What was it for one item on the floor? Did I already pick it up? Oh, I did. It was the money. Now, is this just three floors again? Three items I'm looking for, Orinberry. Apparently I can't just one-shot these guys with a regular attack anymore. <laughs> okay, good. We get an escape orbs. Two escape orbs equals one reviver seed, so that's good. Four items on the floor. Kinda wish I'd be able to recruit, but that's not happening, apparently. Oh my god. We out of here with this layout. <laughs> I hate... What are you doing, game? Come on. <clears throat> okay. There's an escape orb, at least. Does that account for all of them? I lost track at this point. Oh, you freaking scum. Now we sit here and wait. Waiting for Endure to wear off. Finally. All that, there was nothing back here. Alright, let's go in here. This dojo seems a little bit annoying to run through. Three items total. No! You... Come on. There you go. At least there's plenty of escape orbs, for crying out loud, yeah. Every two of these is a reviver, so it works. And a 
fun little remix, yeah. That's a long animation. Their levels seem to be drastically increasing as I go through the floors, that's for sure. Oh, stop with that, endure! That's so annoying. Now we wait. Oh, I'm out of moves. There he goes. This is the last floor? Okay, good. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I took so long the wind was getting here. That's a long wind amount, that's for sure. Oh, you completed it. That's good work, you two, but don't get too comfortable. Train more. <laughs> try harder. Expect you to do the same. Well, I'll try harder. I try to put you, push you out for some reason there. Well, that's certainly weird. Give me the gummies. Or revivers. I've got six, so that's three more revivers. You think six would be enough? I should also check to see if I can buy um, anything from... See if I can buy anything from Kecleon like I should have checked. I might not be. Let me check. Main problem will be the boss fight there, okay. Well, I could do one more dojo run. But I can also check to see if um, they're selling anything I want. I got orange gummy. I want to get that. Ah, oh, damn. Not really there. All right. Let me just store all this stuff. Should do that. I'm just gonna pop right in. Not, I, money I got doesn't really matter. Store and get in there. Okay, no items. I guess I'll put this meager amount of money in the bank. It'll rest here forever if you wish. Oh, but don't worry, I don't wish for that, Duskull. Now, I learned that this one spams, spams Endure, and I hate it. So let's try, you know, let's just try the normal Fly Maze. How about that? That'll probably be fine. Alright, that's the only item there. So let's get out. They definitely jump with level pretty quickly. Two items on the floor. It's technically extra experience, but I don't think I'm really going to need it. Quite a lot there, yeah. Not helping too much. There's one more I gotta find, right? I picked up an orange berry. Ah. Never just find it immediately. Okay, there's the escape. If Keckland would just sell one big apple, that's another escape orb right there. Four items, okay. Oh, hang on. Okay, there's another escape. That's one more revive. So, is every orb I find just gonna be escape? I think it is. It might be the only one that can spawn. Perfect. Okay, well that, that was all of them, right? Nope, there's that. Heck yeah, we're doing it. One item on the floor. Give him a chomp. 
For some reason, the thought of just Riolu taking a bite out of Doe Duo just made me hungry for, like, chicken or something. I don't know. That's a lot of... Stop that. Stop that. That's a lot of freaking damage you're suddenly doing there, son. <laughs> okay. Well, even if I die, I keep the item, so that's something. Oh, Staravia picked up one. I don't remember how many items were still left, but I gotta kill Staravia here. Okay, it looks like they're at a level where they're all kind of worth killing, maybe. Ooh, that one get a lot. Okay. There it is. Nice. Is that all of them now? I think it is, so I'm just gonna go. Three. Okay. Two. Hell no. They really level up on each floor. Still a weird way to set up the dojo, if you ask me. The later floors actually do, don't do give terrible experience, I guess. Still two items I gotta find, right? Let me have a look. Oh, it's a dead end. Okay. Okay. Bite. Money. One more item, I think. That's just Norenberry. There it is. Weird that they, like, time gate you with the, the wind there. You complete it. That's good work, you two. Don't get too comfortable. Train more. Try harder. Expect the same. Okay, so that's two more revivers. So you think that would be fine? Let me just take out some money now. Let's do this. Let's get sorted out. Welcome to Kecleon Wares. Heck yes. Buy some stuff. And you still have garbage. You're selling three Reviver Seeds. Okay. <laughs> Took your sweet time to determine this was a good time for it. Well, that worked out. <laughs> Alright, chat. Let's get our items and sorted out here. Um, I'm gonna need to make a second trip here anyway. Power band, special band. I'm gonna need apples, that's for sure. Do that, do that. Um, I can use the remaining two blue gummies for myself. An orange berry. Uh... I need these. Hunger seed for boss fight. I will need all of these. Stun seed as well. Take the violent seed, maybe. For those. Need some elixirs. Take this to the cafe. These for monster houses. Why not? And then that's all this crap at the end. I need my... Crap, what were they called again? And... Ah, oh, crap. Uh, okay, here we are. That's my Riolu Lucario stuff. Where is... Nine hair. Did I have a Vulpix thing? I think that's all I have for that right now. Cute box. Let me open a single deluxe box with my remaining stuff. With that. Give that to me. Give that to you. Got a lot of revivers now, chat. A lot of revivers. First, let's open the deluxe box. Let the appraisal begin. And so it's revealed within the bo- Oh, Joy Seed. Okay. 
I guess I'll just deposit that. There's probably going to be some Pokemon I'll need uh, to level up for an evolution at some point. I may as well have a bunch of those on hand for that. All right, now we're going to go to Spinda's Cafe. I've got two... I've got three gummies and a calcium. I can give the calcium to Coco. Welcome to Fresh and Friendly Spinda's Juice Bar. Where is the... where is it? Calcium. And who will drink this? This also gives a chance of a recruit. Is there like a... what's like the percentage chance of someone trying to join me when I do this? Calcium soda? That sounds kind of really gross. What, what, what even what is that? Okay. Now let's have me drink some of this stuff. Milk soda. Oh, that sounds so gross. Milk soda. The savory fragrance comes together. Attack Rose, nice. Blue gummy. I already used all my blue gummies for the Manaphy stuff, so that's good. I'm gonna think of it. When the hell does the Manaphy come back? If it comes back. Learned uh, Erratic Player. Okay, then. Alright, one more chance at getting a free friend. Shake it this way. Shake it that way. Spinda looks so excited to make things for me. Hot Sky Gummy Drink. Mmm. That sounds delicious in a weird way. Might want to turn off Erratic Player. What is that? Uh... Oh, it's at the bottom there. What is this? Pokemon's battle performance is erratic, so the positive and negative effects of types influence the power of moves more intensely. This affects the power of moves the Pokemon uses to hit the Pokemon? What does that mean? Exactly. Explain that in real gameplay terms, not like old Yu-Gi-Oh card text. Super effective is more important. So does that mean I do more damage with super effective hits, but also take more damage with super effective hits? So does that, or if I don't do super effective hits, it does less damage is what it means. Bad things are badder and good things are gooder. All right, that's good enough for me. Probably should turn that off then. It makes stab less good as well. Okay, yeah, that's you definitely want to turn that off then. And I still have these escape orbs to trade in. Let's do that. So much recycling getting done. Wow, yeah, I'm so excited. That's great. I'm so happy for you. Hmm. Pardon me, just, uh, hmm. Turn up the cough here. Okay, what do you got? Recycle! Defense Scarf, all this crap. That's it. Alright. Two more Reviver Seeds. That shop that sold three at the end there was good. That should be good enough then. I have got a lot of goodies on me now, so I should be okay. I hope. So now I'm gonna save and we're gonna go talk to Cresselia and do the crater. Let's do it. We got revives. We're gonna succeed. We're gonna do it, chat. We're gonna go save the land for the teddies. We're gonna create a world where all Teddy Ursus can have happy dreams. You know, we gotta kill the evil Darkrai. You ready to go to the Dark Crater? Yeah, very well. Let's be on our way. Off we go to Dark Crater. So this is the entrance to Dark Crater. 
Here we face Darkrai. There's no telling what he has in store for us. We must proceed with the utmost care. All right, 12 items on this floor. I think I can turn that off now, do that. Okay, level 47 she is. So she's gonna be taking all of my revivers, isn't she? There may be a trap at hand, so step smartly. We must remain careful about Charmander as we stay on the move. Oh, Cresselia doesn't like Charmander? Suspicious of those little friends. All right, then. Let's get a move on. Slugma. No one will join right now, right? Yep. First time visit, so no one will join. Okay. Uh-oh. That's annoying. Uh-oh. All right, then. Let's take him out. Take out Kamuskin and the baby hippo. I'm stuck. Heal ribbon, bleh. Sell it later. Oh, hey, another escape. If I need that later. Larion and Monferno. Uh-oh, you're going to... Okay, I better help out here. Fight. Okay, good. Alright, fine. So is it just gonna be Sandstorm every floor here? Oh, that sounds annoying. Play it safe. It just keeps interrupting my inputs and stalling me. It's not nearly as bad as it was in Rescue Team, but still. All right, Hippo, you're going down. Hey, an apple. All we gotta do is just keep... Wait, what? What the hell does that mean? What, what does that mean? Perselia took a deep breath? What is that? I have no idea what that's supposed to mean in the context of gameplay. Alright. It's an IQ skill, restores one PP to a random move every new floor. Okay. Well, I guess that's that. Hang on, let me get the money. It's like when they, like the blinking thing for uh, Illuminate, you just don't know what it is. If you don't, if you can't, like, look at it yourself. Can't check any of Cresselia's stuff. I didn't know hippos like to live where lava is. That can't be good for them. Alright, we're gonna be safe. Uh-oh. Great. Gorgeous box. How close to leveling could I be? 5,800, 12,800. All right, we're good. Let's take a look over here. Oopsie. Plus nine on the force palm is pretty damn good. Ugh. It's so annoying how the sandstorm just keeps like Locking me up for a, a second there. Make sure I read the message. In Rescue Team, you had to, like, sit there and watch as every individual member took, like, a hit... Did, like, a hit animation. And you saw, like, the damage minus from them individually. It was super annoying. Oh, hey. Nice. I want to move forward so I can preserve as much of these Reviver Seeds as possible for the boss fight. Yeah, yeah, that can really do. Alright, let's go. Oopsie, let's go down this way. 
this doesn't seem like it can be even be a large floor. What's going on here? Oh, never mind. It's, oh, it's God. It's one of these. Oh, God. I hate these. Look at that. Look at that map. Does that look fun to you, chat? Does it look exciting? Probably took like them at like almost an hour for them to walk down that hallway. Hello, Charmeleon. What's that down there? Cyndaquil. I need to boop it. Twelve. Ah, sandstorm again. That's not good. Hmm. Should have brought a roll call. I expected this. Oh god, who's over here? Okay, at least I got you. Coco should be fine by themselves. Oh, this could be annoying if I don't find the stairs right away. Coco, come back. There you go. Alright, don't think anything's over there, so let's go this way. Warpsy, don't need that. Uh oh. It's okay. I came prepared for just such an occasion. Where did that sandstorm come from? I want them gummies. That monkey is like stuck midair. Sandstorm woke them up. The sandstorm woke them up. The ground types are unaffected, though. I didn't even think of that. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. Dragon Rage does 30. All is right with the world. Don't worry, Charmander's a little useless thing. It can't hurt me. I'm gonna bop that Charmander so bad. Goodbye. Give me the gummy. I need to eat food now, so let me do that. Pick up. Yeah, keep walking on that, you idiot. Oh my god. Coco, you- Stop it! My God, Just, you have it. There you go. There you go. Good job. Good job. I put that on. There you go. Good job. Get your ass over here, Priscilla. Wake up. That room was an endeavor and a half, wasn't it? Goodbye, Link. Move on, Coco. Let me move. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I can't go through that room again. Alright, let's go. Back we go. How fun. Fun, 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 fun. Get me out. Sky gummy. Taking that with me. Eat another apple. Okay. We made it out of that hellhole. Stop it. Beautiful. We're out. 
apparently I'm going to need a max elixir in a moment, too. Gotta turn on the rest of your moves, Coco. How many elixirs I got? Okay, regain PP. Okay, good. Early stairs. We're done with Sandstorm now? Okay, good. That was really annoying. I'm surprised you didn't die. <gasps> that was almost bad. That was almost very bad. Let me put on Force Palm 9. Do I have any Orin Berries? Uh, I'll eat one, I guess, just in case. The ultimate stab at oh stop it. An extra reviver. Oh god, you're gonna do this every time, aren't you? Okay. Money, money. That's Charmeleon. Okay, good. Celia. Celia, you are not a very big brain Pokemon. Right then, chat. Hmm. Did I want to? Should I save the petrify orb for another? No, there's too many of them. This could be bad. Can't even one shot them. See so yeah. Want that gummy? Nice, nice. And there's one bill, one year on. Okay, there's my level. One. Oh, I got special attack. Okay, I need to make some room here. What else I got? Heal ribbon. I can swap that. That's good enough. Let's go. This whole room's on fire. It's a spicy room, that's right. Cleanse orb for you. I see the stairs, actually. I don't need to use anything. I just realized they're in the corner there. Oh, jeez, there's a lot. An eye drop seed. Let's use that next floor. Warp orb. It only affects one thing in front of me, but I should take it. I think it's time for another apple. Can at least take something with me. What do I have on me? I have Geo Pebbles. I don't think I meant to pick these up. Beautiful. We're at the checkpoint. And I've actually gained Reviver Seeds from going through this part so far. Nice. There's no telling what Dark Rye will strike, or when Dark Rye will strike. Let's pre proceed with caution. 40,000, 6,000. Let's go, chat. Deep Dark Crater. It is here. Deep in this place, we will find the... Oh. So that's how that works. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. The hell do I do with it? What the hell do I do to it? Okay, it's dead. You're so dead. Get the hell out of my face. That was that was one of the stupidest things I've ever seen. Who decided mirror move would work like that? There we go. 
Hello, Kalava. Goodbye, Kalava. Let's get out of here. Well, I lost one seed, but... Yay. Got a free apple. Quick seed. Let me just eat that plain seed I know I now have. I should have ditched the doom seed on the previous floor. Ah. I have an eye drop seed to use as well. Maybe next floor. Let's check up here. Can I read that, please? Insomniscope. EMU. Cute box. Well. I'll take the boxes. Hopefully Combuskin will piss off for a bit. Okay, I'm gonna eat the eye drop seed now. Oh, I had a cherry berry? Why do I have a cherry berry? Okay, grimy food is there. Not that that matters very much. Special band. That's just an extra to what I don't need. Monferno gets slack off, apparently. So far, so good. All is right. Someone's got a gummy. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Don't attack, don't attack, don't attack. You can't use that move. You're failing to disrupt me, Flareon. You're just a ball of fluff. Okay, you're taking a deep breath. Good for you. Progress. Okay, rocks. Another doom seed. I don't want to take that. Roll call. I should actually take that. Um, I can throw this away now. No one risk of anyone picking that up. Beautiful. Good stair luck now. Uh oh. They don't look like they want to play nicely. Okay. You got him, Coco. Oof. All right, we're live. Oh, I gotta take. Wait, no, that's the that's the that's a look-alike one, right? Yeah, I'll leave that one alone. Feels good to be slaughtering my cargo. Magmortar's behind us. Fantastic. Royal gummy. I gotta take that with me too. Ditch the extra special band. Oh, damn. Don't. Don't. Are you done? Cool, he's done. Low accuracy on them damn moves, my butt. Infernape gotta go. That <laughs> was he just. He just keeps going, yeah. Isn't that fun? That was real fun. Mobile scarf. <sighs> Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh! What the hell do I do? Can I use the warp orb if it's in the wall in front of me like this? No, of course I can't. Okay, it's out of the wall. Super unfortunate. Hmm. 
Get over here. I didn't really have much of a choice but to kind of just burn that, didn't I? Does Typhlosion have different, like, uh, coloring? I feel like... Yeah, I feel like it's... It, it was more yellow-looking in Rescue Team. I should know. I looked at it for, like, a thousand hours. Made it. Leveled up. Okay, there you go. Oh, extreme speed, huh? Better eat an orange berry or something. That was all real unfortunate, wasn't it? Oh! This is so dumb. What am I supposed to do? I got an idea. Hang on. There we go. Okay. Now let's go. Oh, hey, I got a mobile scarf. I can even do anything with that right now. 475. Oh, let's get out of here. Infernape to go away before it breaks my breaks my bones and just rips me apart. Purple gummy, I want that. I need the plane seeds. So how many more revivers I got left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I still feel I suddenly feel like that's not enough. And I did not mean to move like that. Okay, got ya. Oh boy. I hope nine is enough. Yeah. So do I, because that was some shenanigans is what all that was. Uh-oh. Damn. It's gotta be down over here then. Everything will be okay. He says, getting smacked in the face with lava. Everything will be okay, starting now. Okay, it wasn't floor 10. Free floor, free floor. Uh-oh, okay. You wanna go, bro? You wanna go? Come on, we'll go. Send you right directly to hell is where we'll go. Okay, I can one-shot Blaze can like Infern Apes, not bad. Sticky red gummy, doesn't matter, I'm not eating it, eating it inside this place. Ooh. Damn it. If I put on the mobile scarf and walk into the wall, I can fight him, right? That will work, I hope. Because right now, that's all I can really do. I'm going to hope that works. Does that mean I can, like, fight you right now? Or do I have to be in the wall? I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, I'll take that. Okay. Exciting. Don't think you even need to enter the wall. All right. Well, I'll know that for next time now. Picked up the scope lens. Die, turtle! Taking counterattack damage. Uh-oh. Golly, that did a lot. Okay, stairs. This place is dangerous, and it's only because I have to freaking escort a Pokemon that can't do anything. It's funny, because they're supposed to be a legendary, too. 
Oh, where'd you come from? Coco lost all its PP. How oh, unfortunate. Okay. At least we got experience points. Another warp seed. I can't really take that. Oh man, I gotta go all the way back. This is lame. That's the worst kind of dead end like that. Alright, so far so good. Horse palm carrying. Eye drop seed sticky. Let's go then. Sky gummy. I'm just gonna eat an apple. Pick it up. Forget the money and let's go. Ugh, need that too. Another plane seed to use up. Get over here, you. You're watching carefully? Good for you. Watch carefully as I kill you. Nothing here. I'll grab this money. Oh, we finally made it. That was concerning. It's a dead end. This looks like the deepest we can go. Where's Darkrai, though? You've kept me waiting. I had to go to the woods for a bit. Is it just me, or does Darkrai's sprite make him look like he's his shiny form? Darkrai. Good of you to have come, Coco and Asprey. Why do you keep after us? You don't even know us. I know you all too well. You especially, Asprey. What? When you came to this world with Grovile, Asprey, you were caught up in an accident. Accident? Oh, that's right. Grovile once explained it. We had an accident traveling back in time. Oh, here's the flashback. Whoa! Are you okay? No! Don't let go! Just a little longer. Come on, hang on. No, I can't. Hold on. Ugh. Yes, you and Grovile had an accident while traveling through time. You became separated as a result of it. You were also transformed from a human to a Pokemon, and lost your memory as well. Has it not occurred to you how odd that accident was? How odd? Yes, think of how the accident occurred, precisely when you and Grovile were traveling through time. That fails to strike you as odd. Darkrai, Darkrai, you know something about it. Naturally, that very accident was caused by none other than myself. What? What did you say? My wish is to engulf this world in darkness. I set my sights on Dialga's temporal tower because of its tie to time. I sabotaged temporal tower. That would have eventually led to the destruction of time and ultimately the planet's paralysis. However, Grovile and Asprey decided to meddle. I learned of their impending arrival from the future and I attacked Grovile and Asprey as they traveled in time. How do you learn about that? How would you- how? So I would be rid of them, but an unforeseen event made it impossible to be rid of either of them. It shouldn't have been enough, especially for Grovile, however. Do you know how you came to be a Pokemon, Asprey? During the accident, you shielded Grovile from my attack. I shielded Grovile? Yes, you absorbed the brunt of the attack I intended for Grovile. It appears your fierce will to protect your partner became entangled with the many dimensions during your time travel. As a result, you were transformed into a Pokemon. I. He was granted the knowledge by Jirachi when Bidoof made his wish. Oh my god, I hate that that's the most plausible thing. Oh my god. You're probably right. <laughs> I did that. 
There's no other logical way he, he could know. <laughs> I assume what I did was sufficient. I thought I'd render you incapable of preventing the planet's paralysis. However, I underestimated your resourcefulness. You met with Coco, and the two of you stopped the destruction of Temporal Tower. Because I had underestimated and disregarded how much you would meddle. My original plan ended in failure. That's why... That's why you decided to get rid of Asprey and Coco first this time. So they wouldn't be an in, be impediment to your scheming. That's why you tried to break their spirit. Even going so far as to use an imposter of me. Even now, you lured us here. So you could be rid of all of us in one fell swoop. Very good. I did indeed intend to do what you just say. You say. But I've had a change of heart. So, Asprey Coco... Both of you are brave. You've shown great initiative. To be rid of you forever seems like a tragic waste. You've both shown so much promise. Why not join me? What? Why not join me in ruling a world full of darkness? What? Rule the world with Darkrai? It's entirely possible if we three band together. Well... Will you join me? Oh, Asprey, Coco, don't believe his lies. Coco, are you listening? Maybe Darkrai is right. No, Coco. Who are we kidding? We don't stand a chance against Darkrai anyway. Pointless to resist. Joining Darkrai may be the best thing to do. Coco, why? Mwahaha! <laughs> you chose wisely, Coco. Very practical of you. Now, Asprey, what will you do when you are one of us? Our first order of business will be Cresselia there. The three of us shall get rid of her together. What did you say? Now, Asprey, come join us here. Don't go. Don't, don't, don't do it. Please come here, Asprey. Coco, if you won't join us, Darkrai surely won't want just me. He'll get rid of me. Mwahahaha. <laughs> Your choice. Will you join us? The world of darkness is gonna be wonderful, Asprey. You see? Your trusted partner has seen the truth. Come on, why not? Will you not rule the world with us? And you shall... Reign as lord in the world of darkness. Now, Asprey, consider your answer carefully. Join me and Coco. We'll rule the world. Um, does it matter which one I pick? I'm just curious if something funny can happen. Like a thousand year like a thousand year door situation. Doesn't matter, no? Okay. Do that? I refuse. This is all. This is all. This is all. A nightmare. Oh! Oh, Asprey. Oh. You! <laughs> he just smacks me. I was right. I was being deceived. Darkrai was showing me an illusion. That was close. Blast it. I was on the verge of success. Is that your answer? Of course. Coco would never consider doing something like that. Join with Darkrai? Not on my life. World of Darkness? I won't let it happen. Hmm. So be it. You've made the wrong choice. There's nothing left to say. I'll be rid of you now. Hey there, fellas. Ah, uh, we're surrounded. I knew it. I figured you would do something like this. Say what you will. This is where I finally be rid of you meddlers. I will seize control of the darkened world. As its king. This is it. Attack. Alright. Now don't panic. All we gotta do... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh 
Okay, no, don't panic. D don't panic. All we gotta do is... There we go. Great. Oh, don't, don't panic. Don't panic. I just gotta do something. Well, I'm confused. The best I can do is just do stuff like this to them. Coco died. There's one. Uh-oh. What else I got? I'm hoping you could land confusion status with that attack. At least Cresselia seems to be able to tank stuff right now. Coco, not so much. How many Oran Berries I got? One. This is the best I can manage right now. Great. I'm still confused. I can't reliably do much. Okay, that's one down. Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay, thank goodness. I was worried for a moment. Okay, what else I got here? Still waiting for confusion to go away. I should. I should use an orange. If I'm still confused, I should use an orange berry on Cresselia here. Save a reviver. Okay, there's another one. Can the confusion please go away? Why do I always get confused in these fights? I feel like this happens every frickin' time, and I hate it. Alright. You scum. Die already. I could have cleaned out so many of those Pokemon with Force Palm, but you know what happens? No, you know what happens? I gotta deal with this crap. Get out of the way. Yeah, this is what happens. This is what I deal with. Oh, wait. Bad dreams? I forgot it. That's how that worked. Oh. Boo-hoo. Oh, no, you don't. We did it. Oh, golly. Gah. Ugh. Did the arena just change? We did it. We saved we saved the land of Teddy's chat. No more nightmares. This is the end for you, Darkrai. Oh, Cresselia, don't you remember? I said you cannot catch me. Hey, what's that? It's a dimensional hole. Ha ha ha. Dimensional hole may take me to the future, or the past. Even I don't know where it'll lead me. But, I failed only in this time. I will simply plunge the world into darkness in another time. Stop. Darkrai. Yeah, Darkrai can just do that, apparently. You're not getting away. Ooh! Hmm. Too bad for you. I can slip away through time with just one step. You cannot catch me. Oh. Goodbye to you. Ugh. <laughs> well, how do you like that? Finally, in the end, it ends in my ultimate victory. I won't allow that. What? Y 
your Palkia. You will pay a grave price for expanding the distortion of space, Darkrai. This is a strike for justice. Take this! What? What? There is no escape. The dimensional hole? The dimensional hole completely shattered. With Darkrai still inside? I heard Darkrai scream. Did Darkrai disappear forever? No, that has not happened. He has suffered grievous damage and been banished to some unknown place. Wherever he may be, he lives. When he recovers from injury, won't Darkrai go back to his wicked ways? That remains to be seen. Because when Darkrai entered the dimensional hole, he began to time travel. That precise moment he was struck with Palkia's attack. Remember what Darkrai said about Asprey's arrival from the future? Darkrai attacked during time travel, so Asprey got hit with amnesia. So just like Asprey, it's likely Darkrai has lost his memory as well. Darkrai lost his memory? Yes, Darkrai will likely never recover his memory, and he will wander lost through the world. Darkrai. We're done with him. He will not likely expand the distortion of space again. I will return to Spatial Rift. I foresee no reason to ever return here. Farewell. So, I believe Darkrai becomes one of those random legendaries that shows up when you have certain items. So, I guess this is the justification for that. <laughs> you can just find Darkrai and recruit him like that now. Well, that is that. Shall we also go back? Yep. Let's go home. Back to Treasure Town. And that's how our fight against Darkrai ended. When we returned to Treasure Town, we were thrilled by how excited everyone was at our return. We had been fully fooled by Darkrai. So I thought that neither Asprey nor I had a place in this world. But when everyone surrounded us and was glad to see us back, that's when I finally thought, it's wonderful to be alive. Little Azuril woke up from his nightmare. I'm so glad everyone was well. I remember what Wigglytuff said. Every Pokemon in the world exists for a reason. Even the ones that mean harm to others. Even that Darkrai. After all this, my adventures with Asprey will continue. We'll see many things, and we'll make many new discoveries. We have to go we have gone back to Luminous Springs since then, though we still can't evolve there. However, we can exist here. We can live here. And that alone is something we should be happy and grateful about. That's what I finally learned. Yes, Sasprey. Thank you for always being with me. Let's keep on exploring. May our friendship last forever. So I still can't evolve? <laughs> All that and I still can't evolve. The next morning. Good morning! Let's make it another great day. What are you doing here? Thanks to you, Asprey and Coco, that Darkrai was stopped from carrying out his wicked scheme. My job here is done. Sincerely, thank you. Roselia, what about you? What are you gonna do now? I've pondered many possibilities. May I join Team Moomin? Pardon? Roselia? In our exploration team? If I'm not a burden, I would very much hope you would accept me on your team. Will you have me? Not at all. You're no burden. We'd love to have you. Right? Maybe I would say no. If you say no, you get no chance to get Cresselia again, right? <laughs> Cresselia absolutely is a, is a burden. Feel real bad if you accidentally hit no in that case, right? New members join the team. 
Thank you so much. Oh, for sure, Priscilla. Thank you for joining us. Is it like the Lotties in uh, Rescue Team where you just can't get them again? That would suck. Oh, 52. Look at us go. Yo, you two sure showed them. I'm going like this without being scared again. You get my thanks for that. Saved Azuril. You made the world peaceful. Thank you. Thank you, Esprit and Coco. I knew you could do it. You two have true courage. I knew it way back when, when you caught me as an outlaw. I'm gonna leave soon. I'm going to travel. It was awkward when we met on Mount Travail. Next time I'd like to meet, meet you with smiles and open arms. I'm gonna explore all over again today. You need Cresselia for recruit them all. More drama? I'm ashamed that I doubted my leader even a little. I'm glad I had the guts to. You helped me be brave, Asprey. Thank you so much. My partner was terrified of me and I didn't know it. As a leader, I must be a failure. Good morning, y'all. Here's to another good day of exploring. You got my thanks for saving the world. See, chat, bears are happy I saved the world. Thank you so much. Your team is so cool. You see that, chat? The bear thinks I'm cool. Your team has done it, Asprey. You're beyond belief. Thank you so much. All right. So I still can't evolve, though. Not possible now. Aside from Cresselia, are there any other Pokemon that you can't just recruit again once they're gone? I don't know how it works. So haven't I done everything? We're out of your league. You KO Darkrai. You two are something else. Hey, hey. Let's have another fun day of exploring. Hey, hey. Everything was tied together. It was one of the worst. It was one vast conspiracy by Darkrai. Quite astounding. Thank you, Team Moomin. Another great accomplishment for Team Moomin. Ah, you too. Hope you'll work hard and earn money again today. The Guild certainly appreciates the funding. Also, I must thank you for putting a stop to Darkrai's wicked scheme. You two are fantastic. You save the world from not just once, twice! I think you're going to become an even more incredible exploration team. A little legendary Team Raider. Keep up your exploring. Team Raider, I've heard that name before. No, I don't need to go over here, what am I doing? Just tried it. If you get rid of Cresselia, she just shows up on the cliff again. Oh, okay. So is there any Pokemon you can't re-get at all? Glad to see your team back safely. Hey, you two. Need to visit your old friends? What, you want a full sentry duty? No. Oh, you won't, huh? Manaphy needs... That's right, Manaphy needs to come back. So I'm guessing at this point in the game, I just keep doing more missions and stuff. And then... Manaphy will come back in a cutscene or whatever. Nothing down here. <laughs> then I'll be able to evolve and stuff. Anyways, I got gummies. Let's go use them. See if I can get any more free recruits. Hey, Team Moomin, you arrived just the right time. A strange Pokemon asked me to give you this. The Mystery Jungle. Right, promptly. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll take it. Explore Mystery Jungle. The Secret of Wilderness. There are the seats on the world. Seven treasures. Grass Cornet. We always need a Teddy. That's the rule. I'm gonna go too much longer now. Whoa! Ready to explore the whole world with Zigzagoon. I decided to team up with Heracross and explore all over the world. Sometimes bottles with messages in them show up on the beach. Kind of romantic. Same stuff there. Terrible. I don't do anything and try. I don't do anything other than trying to win a big treasure. Can't go on like this. It sounds very bad. You shouldn't do that. All right. 
I've got gummies. Let's start eating them, I guess. Who will drink this? Me, because I'm the most important for it. And the grass gummy. So, yeah, is it the same chance that someone that will join you as it is that one will give you an egg? Alright, so let's mash now. I have to go down a little bit here every time. Drink. Artillery's got a problem there. Yes, they do. There's just an overall chance for an event. Okay. Can I get you anything else? Orange gummy. Making my stats go up real high. Shake it this way, shake it that way, stir it all around, and it's done. I got a good feeling about this. IQ going up significantly. IQ increased too. Last person to join me was Plusle. Plusle's a random one-off mon, so I guess it's good to get it out of the way. Is, like... What is, like, the pool of Pokemon that can join you this way? Like... Is it just, like, anything that's not a legendary? Like, can Charizard, for example, or does that not count because starter? It is a bit limited? Okay. There's only a specific set of Pokemon that can join you like this. Okay. I see you're a true connoisseur. Well, there's one I don't have. Way you tasted that. You're obviously a gourmet. What do you think? Well, that's another Mon recruited. Imagine if Mewtwo could just join you doing this, yeah. I imagine Mewtwo is probably going to be another Mon that's just kind of there when you when you have a certain item. Those Pokemon are weird, and they're going to require some serious hunting. Got a good feeling about this. We still got him recruited Teddy Ursa, and we need to freaking load him up with all the white gummies so he becomes like a super expert friend recruiter. That's the only way I can recruit Kecleon with that ability, too. There's 108 Pokemon you can recruit from the cafe. Okay, that's not that bad at all. Plenty of Pokemon I can just get doing this. Just buff my character. In fact, when I get a Teddy Ursa, I'll take Teddy Ursa here, and I'll feed him all the white gummies, and I'll have a chance of just getting extra recruits and eggs from this, huh? Is the Pokemon that can join you the same... Like, is it the exact same, um... Like, are the eggs you can get the same pool of Pokemon? Or is that, or is that separate? It would be annoying if they're the same pool, because then it's basically just like, okay, here's a recruit, but delayed. I feel like the eggs should have, like, a much wider variety to get. Okay, last one. Drink the Sky Gummy. I don't remember what the text even says about egg. It's just like, here's an egg! Alright, that's all. Okay. All right, looks good. This is probably a good place to stop. It is the same pool of Pokemon, is it? Well, it's fine. Let's make a save now, chat. I've been going for over six hours. We beat Darkrai. This is as good a place to stop as any. So next time, I guess I'm going to be doing... I'm probably going to start recruiting, like, the legendaries and stuff. Get started on that. Better triple save, just in case. There's still, there's a ton of freaking Pokemon to recruit, but I got a lot. I've got a lot of them along the way so far. Cresselia joined me, that's a legendary done. The most annoying legendaries for sure are going to be the ones that just show up randomly on floors, which is apparently a lot of them, because uh, they don't really have dedicated dungeons like the others, right? Like, I, I think I'm going to have to get, like, Mewtwo, Groudon, Kyogre, Rayquaza the same way. I'm not quite sure, but... 
Anyways, this is the place to stop. It's been a long stream. I'm going to be back tomorrow after I run some errands on YouTube. Have a good night. Bye-bye.